video was doing a tarot card reading for me and I pulled these three specific cards and then um, we were doing these tarot card readings at my shop and so like everybody was working and my boss Jay comes in and like I never thought Jay would be the kind of person to like yeah do a tarot card no, reading exactly. for me you know like right. he's like not like that totally not. he pulled the first card and it was like whoa I just pulled that yeah like I had pulled that and then he pulled it and it was and like he okay had strange the and deck. he the, the it was thoroughly shuffled and then he went and pulled the second card and I had pulled that card and he pulled a third one, he's like, it's rigged! And yeah. he walked away, yeah. but like, it was very strange. I think the reason that his cards didn't work it well... It was very was specific. He was asking very, very, very specific questions. Yeah. On this day at this time, is this going to happen, right? Because the cards yeah. don't know that. They, they don't just, say yes or no. They give you guidance. Yeah. And that's why when I do a reading, I try and be as vague as possible so you can interpret it. I find that the more you actually genuinely believe in the cards, the more accurate of a reading yeah, you're gonna get. Exactly. So you go ahead and take the cards and get to know them Give a little bit. Give them my energy. Give them your vibe. I think a lot of times people get kind of like scared or nervous when they when they see cards because they think it's so witchy. If you're putting negative energy into it, then you're gonna get negative energy out of it. So you wanna try and be as positive and just kind of set the vibration. So I'm going for um, just a friendship reading. I think I wanna base it on old friends rather than new friends. Mm -hmm. So what to let go of and what to look forward to. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, Yeah. so we can just even start with those two questions. Yeah. What I will get you to do whenever you feel comfortable um, you, I don't want to touch them anymore. I really like to keep the energy contained mm -hmm. in you. So something to let go of, something to bring in. So you can go ahead and let's just set these cards down so that they don't get too tired. Okay. Um, and you can flip your first one of what you want to let go of, what you need to let go of. Oh, okay. So what is this? That's seven of wands. Wands is all about manifestation. Wands is about creation. It's about getting things done it's about bringing things into your life i like to just read the card out with you yeah. so what we see clear skies a guy who's kind of working to build something you can see that there's a lot of effort there's things being mm -hmm. created he's also on his own which is interesting to yeah. to think about yeah. this in the case of your question of what you need to let go of for me, it shows that you've been I'm trying working. hard. Yeah, you're trying hard. <laughs> I've and you're been trying really hard kind alone. Of on your own, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And you don't really have a group of people who are behind you trying to help you establish yeah. this foundation, right? Because mm -hmm. that's clearly what he's doing that. here, right? Yeah. Like he's trying to build a foundation for, for whatever it mm -hmm. is. Wands is about building, it's about manifesting. Um, and he is solo. In the case of what you need to let go of, I would say trying to do things by yourself. The fact that. I have been in this position mm -hmm. for a little while, not like present, mm -hmm. but like months ago or years okay. ago or whatever the heck. It's like even just letting go of the fact that I had to do that because thinking about that, feeling hurt by that yeah. moment pauses your growth. Business negotiations, um, competition, solitary success. Yeah. So this is my guy that I just pulled for what I need to let go of. So then this one is what to bring into your life, right? What you're looking forward to in the friendship and relationships department. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, interesting. So I pulled this one upside down. I'm going to keep it upside down. Four of Swords. My yoga teacher when I was in India did a really good description of the suit of swords. He basically said that swords is about cutting through the bullshit yeah. and seeing clearly. Yeah. Swords is the fire element. Um, like me. Exactly. <laughs> um, so and you. And me. Yeah, so awesome. yep. Not necessarily reflecting, but figuring stuff out. Yeah. In the way of wands being manifesting and actually bringing things into your life, swords is about looking at the bigger picture mm -hmm. and like truly seeing what you want. Yeah. So something to look forward to. This guy is clearly dead. He yes. is in a church, yep. so you can see the stained glass windows. And it's interesting because he's yellow. Okay. Uh, or like gold, yeah. which um, signifies that it's almost like a religious figure or figure or like a holy figure. He is by himself, but there's color and there's things going on in the background. Yeah. And he has his hands in prayer. So he's connecting to the divine. He's connecting to perhaps the things that has ha have happened in his life. He's moving on from all that, right? Like yeah. He's dead and he's seeing the bigger picture. It's interesting because that one's reversed. Wise administration, um, economy, 
precaution testament. So the way that I would read this card for you as something to look forward to mm -hmm. is that connection to the other things in your life. Spirituality, yep. your relationship to God, see the other things that are going on in your life and perhaps asking yourself why these things are, are happening, those fights or conflicts or, mm -hmm. or things that happened in the past to see the, the true meaning of it mm -hmm. and how that's helped you grow. Yeah, I'm kind of in, in that sense zone of like, right now. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, looking at the reading as a whole, so I'd like to do one card, then another card, and then we look at it as yeah. a whole. So, Things you need to let go of in order to sustain and build positive relationships and friendships. Letting go would be doing it by yourself or mm -hmm. feeling that you're alone or that you have to work to do these things by yourself. Maybe there's certain people in your life that are making you feel alone mm -hmm. and that you need to let go of and move on from. Or maybe it's just the idea yourself that you're in it by yourself. Yeah. But then also considering why you feel by yourself mm -hmm. and why you feel alone and what's preventing you from that from finding that connection yeah speaking of tarot cards finishing this off i did do a tarot card tattoo for video what two months ago Three about months that ago, it was right before my that? birthday and so this is April. the queen of wands mm -hmm. maybe i can find that card actually it's a very video card so this is kind <clears> of my card it's the card that I did a, a reading kind of right before I went to India. And so I pulled, I asked the cards, you know, what is my true nature? What is my true self? I was going through a period where I was pretty lost. I was trying to figure out if I really wanted to go to India and do my teacher training um, and see my family or if I wanted to go back to school. Um, and I was at a big point of transition. And I pulled the Queen of Wands. And I think just looking at the card itself, like it, it just the second I saw it, I was like, okay. Okay, um, she has a little black cat. She is holding a sunflower. Um, mm -hmm. I have a little yeah. black cat and a sunflower. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I like instantly resonated with the card. Wands is my favorite suit. I immediately resonated with the card and then I did a little Google search because I always do that with my cards. And that's a great way actually to just learn tarot is get to know the cards and then Google them. Like, mm -hmm. pull a few cards and then just Google what they mean. It was talking about how the Queen of Wands is um, all about feminine energy, feminine creativity, feminine mm -hmm. empowerment. She's an intelligent, wise, um, strong-willed individual who goes after what she wants and sets high goals and, and works hard to achieve them. And that was always me growing up, but I went through a period where I really lost that part of myself. Mm -hmm you know what, that, that is me, that is my true self, so I'm gonna set this goal and I'm gonna go to India and I'm gonna spend two months and do my teacher training and take a risk and accomplish what I want, so. Hi, <laughs> Yay. I love her. Yeah, she's awesome, <laughs> she's awesome. Are you ready to say goodbye? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay guys, if you liked me, video and this video please hit that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that little notification bell because i make new videos every week and video might be in more so see you guys later bye, bye.